Hello guys, welcome back, it's Logical as always, and today we're going to be covering the Godskin Peeler, so we are. So, yeah, this should be interesting, guys. If you enjoy the content, please like, share, and subscribe, and guys, let's get straight back into it. The weapon art is Black Flame Tornado, shockingly enough. So, yeah, this is a completely different weapon art. And it's also not a weapon art that I'm going to be fit to use in PvP at this stage, because the way that the Twin Blades are, Black Flame Tornado is more of a anti-gank weapon art rather than a dueling weapon art because you are just open for so long with it. On that there is a pure physical damage weapon with nothing magical about its crit. Excuse me. And the strength, the scaling is D in strength, B in dexterity, which I think gets up to an A. So that will be interesting to take a look at versus a quality build. It requires 17 strength and 22 dexterity, so the highest dexterity requirement of the lot so far. Oh, I've just realized that I have the damage numbers up for the one-handed. Well, aren't I just slow on it? So it comes with 487 one-handed damage, and two-handed does 505. Okay, so it's not the strongest. So on a quality build so far, the knight's swords are... The, the weirdly named twin blade is currently the strongest that we've got so far, baseline. So other than that, there, the, there is a unique thing with this weapon, or, or this weapon, and that there's its heavies. Um, they're all, I'm going to poke you. So they are. And that is how a lot of the weapon, a lot of this weapon art is. It's all very poke heavy, which is interesting to say the least. But yes, um, everything everything works in poking fashion. Other than that there, the R ones are exactly the same, so they are. So not too uh, different on that there. Still has the, um, the Qui-Gon Jinn, as I'm going to call it for now on. Um, so yeah. This should hopefully be interesting to use, and hopefully it has some usability, but I'm not going to be too sure on that. Now, second out there, we've got the Thunderbolt Mizu Court. This is in case somebody's been particularly annoying, or needs a rib tickle. Their choice. After that there, we've got the Sacred Albuquerque Shield. This is basically for fashion, but it carries our Golden Pottery as well. And speaking of fashion, we've got the Fingerprint Hound, Black Knife Armor, Malform Grand Gauntlets, and the Fire Prelate Greaves. For our Talismans, we've got the Green Turtle Talisman, Bulgoats Talisman, Earth Tree Paper Plus 2, and the Crimson Armor Medallion Plus 2 as well. So yeah, we're just going to, like, we're going to go take a look at the scalings. But yeah, this, this one here is slightly different with the thrusting. So it is. So it's going to be interesting to have a look see and see what the actual situation with this weapon actually is. Let's go take a look at the scalings and whatnot. So let's have a look see at the scalings here super quick. Because I'm, I am overly curious. I think I've tickered with this machi machine. This thing a little bit. So it does come with an A in scaling. Now, that there is going to be interesting, as it does come with BB. That will require a bit more testing, so it will. But just knowing that little fact is going to be interesting. So, it is a dexterity weapon, hands down. But we'll see what it's like on a quality build. We're going to fire on this. So we are. Impaling through it. We'll try, we'll try out Piercing Fang. How about that? We'll change it up for a second here, and we'll try out Piercing Fang. Because Impaling Thrust works, so I'm hoping Piercing Fang works. Let's go and see what happens. Who's our first uh, opponent? A butcher? Okay. I actually kind of like that setup because the, the talons look like meat hooks. I like that. I don't like that though. I'm uh, uh, Now I'm disappointed. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm not a fan of that, dude. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of the fact that you got resolve on that thing. So I'm not. I'm not a fan that you have that equipped. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll take the fade. Probably not a smart fade, like what? Oh, shit. I'm getting overconfident. Oh, that, that there had a nasty wind-up, so it does. Okay, that was just, that was unfair. 
GG, sir. I'll give you credit for going full balls to the wall. GG, sir. Right. Ooh, it's a mage. Ooh, it's a mage. Ooh, it's a mage. Okay, let's party, sir. Okay, I asked for that. Oh! Dude, don't run away on me. That's a bad idea. Bye-bye! Right, what were we against? Hello. I can't have seen that coming, funnily enough. Don't know why. But this is just the standard uh, rigmarole. Ah, I don't like that. Okay, yeah, I don't like that. Oh! Oh! Dude, stop trying to do that. It's not gonna work. Oh, I messed. I messed up that timing. Oh, he's scared. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, how did I hit him, but he didn't hit me? Oh! I've noticed that you don't use that rapier an awful lot, dude. Really? Yay! You done something! <laughs> oh, it's a, what the fuck am I looking at? That's a godskin piercer. Hello, King Slayer Jenner. Okay. You got a mage. The death poker. I gave you credit for the death poker, but something tells me that you're probably not going to use it an awful lot. Oh, the spacing on that was perfect, dude. I'll give you it. Unfortunately, the knee fixed the tracking on the weapon arc. Oh. Oh, come on. How come I? How come you can get away with that shit, but I can't? Beautiful. Oh, the roll. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was beautiful. I like that. Oh, we are at that dude. Oh, beautiful, dude. GG. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Against. He's got the royal swords. Is it that? I know it gives you the damage increase. Let's go. You're gonna go full offense and I know you are. People wonder why I hit. Okay. There's a weirdo. He's not. What's weird though is the fact that he's not playing. He's not playing my game. That's you. That's that damage buff gone now. Thank fuck for that. Uh -huh. Oh, well done. He, he read the parry at least. You're smart at least. You're smart enough at that at least. Come on, sir. Oh wow, that was my own fuck up. Ah, oh, come on. That was my own fuck up again. That was your fuck up. Oh, come on. Are you actually going to try and parry me? 
Oh yeah, I have FP, dude. That's good. Alright, uh, just take your god's good stitcher out there. What do you switch to now? Be that way. Why? I called bullshit on that. Oh. GG, sir. <laughs> Fuck your seal, boy. Right, let's go upgrade. Let's just upgrade. Right, I should go this here to quality. I don't think there's really any other condition. Mm. Impaling thrust would be good. But impaling thrust requires a little bit more setup time and stuff, so. Mm. It's weird. 499, okay. So we weren't able to break 900 on the one hand, which is a bit of a shame. But it's in that two hand that I'm looking at. 544, okay. So that is a decent increase. It's not as strong, but it's a decent increase. But then at the same time, though, this is a dexterity twin blade. So very. Possibly might be able to like, match it on a quality or on a dexterity build with a keen setup. Ah, it's just something that would need to be tested. All right, well, we're against. Ooh, okay, interesting build. Is that a bow? That is a bow. Fuck. <clears throat> okay. Oh, dude, a glass cannon. Fine then, throw it. Alright then. Come on. If, you were, if I had knew you were using sleep arrows, I would have just fucking killed you. But, you, you want to play the troll game? I'll play the troll game, dude. GG! <laughs> <laughs> right. Ah, oh, it's him again! Oh, but you see, this, the, the problem is this time, though, is I know you're going for sleep. Do you want to know something? I let you off. I let you off easy the last time, dude. So I did. I don't know how that hit me, but okay. You messed up. I let you off the last time, but oh, it's him again. Hello. Like I give you credit for doing this, but at the same time though, I'm not letting I'm not letting you off. Rancor pops this time. What? How the hell did that hit me? Yeah, dude. I don't worry. I have this nailed down. If you're if you're going if you're going to do sleep pot shenanigans or sleep shenanigans. Oh! <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. And is this a lance rapier user with fuck all manners as well? Okay. Okay. Was a parrying dagger as well? Fuck off, man. I have absolutely no need. Are you going to try and parry me? Oh, that's awesome. Right. Oh, you're, you're about as boring as they come. Ah, oh, fuck you. <coughs> what am I fighting? Hello, sir. Do you get Do you get Never actually realized how 
how common they actually were, so this should be interesting. Uh, did he just go for the straight up on sheath? Oh wow, I just went over. Oh baby! You are a lucky boy! Oh, I fucked up. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not actually a fan. That's actually that additional thrust seems to. I like. You don't get as much damage out of it because of the thrust gets in the way. That's a bit of a nuisance. So it is. So is that oddly enough? I think it's gonna come down to an unsheath and a piercing fang. Oof. GG, sir. Not quite. GG. Uh, hello, sir. I would much rather you just bow, sir. That was actually very nice. Alright. Come on. You started this. You started this. See ya. Alright, well, oh, it's you again! Hello! With your golden vow! How beautiful. Let's party hard, sir. Come on. This shit again, dude! Do not! Just because my spacing is wicked on point at the moment. Oh, come on. Oh, there's the R1 spawn for the fucking thing. Right, come on. You got away just in the nick. Oh, really? Go Godskin Stitcher. Battle of the Godskins, then. Still not working for you here, mate. didn't work for you like Ooh, okay no that that has me scared I do not like that weapon so I don't I do not like that weapon in the slightest and that would probably be one of the reasons why dude's got poise for days was quick step really I haven't seen people use utensils in a while. It's kind of funny. You, dude. You got quick step on. Ah! I fucked up. I fucked up. Ah! Well done, GG. 
It's one of the weapons I'm scared of because its AR is absolutely mahusive. Ooh, pure mage? He's even got the fucking sword talisman on too, which is interesting. So he's got a lot of damage to back it up. Oh, it's brilliant. Well, there goes that buff. Sorry, I was just I just had to remove that buff off you so it did. Because that was just You're using a moon veil. Oh dude! You're so bad. See Moonville users by they're just naturally bad. So they are they're just naturally bad. Oh I asked for that. Come on. Hey, look, he actually knows how to use the weapon. Or does he? Fuck! Out of range. Ha! <laughs> GG, dude. GG. Okay, guys. So, what is my opinion of the God Skin Peeler? I'm going to be weird on this one, and the reason why is I simply am not a fan of the R2. And that is because it is a thrust. Now, normally it is thrusting meta, but the problem is, is the stagger comes a, lit, a one hit too late. What I noticed with the other two is the heavy, on the second swing it broke poise, whereas on this one it didn't. And there was a lot more wind up, and there was a lot more chip damage rather than straight up damage. So that was what I've noticed with it. Is it a good weapon? Sure. Has it the potential of being a fantastic weapon? Sure. But as it sits, more practice would be needed than I could do in a simple showcase. I would have to dig in more and get a build specifically for it and get around on all that there. So yeah, it's one of those things. So it is. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And guys, I shall see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.